Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blog Gaz. I'm Gaynor. I'm Office Blog Hayden. Okay, it's time to try... Five, five guys. guys. Now I, got to be honest, I have had five guys once before. Okay. But it was a long, long time ago. Hmm. Um, probably going back... Was it here? Yeah. Yeah. Probably going back over... Five years? No, not that long ago. Two years maybe. Oh, okay. Two years and it was not very good because I, when I ordered it, it was uh, it came back and it was like a late delivery... And it was all soggy, and, mm. and I think I just threw it away. I think I took one bite and threw it away, yeah. type thing. It wasn't very good, I remember. I've heard they can be quite soggy. Yeah. So it was, and I remember the drink they served, it came in a tiny little cup. The, the drink wasn't even like, I was like, what's that? So I was really angry when but it came. But in store, did they not do free refills? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, they do. But this was like a tiny little cup, and I was like, what's that? So I was disappointed to say to them, we're giving it another go now. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Trying five guys. Yeah, so we've had a five guys, guys just been. And he's brought us bad guys delivery. If you want to dip in and uh, just try a French fry, it look very well seasoned. Cajun, man. Mm. Oh, they're good. Got some mm. napkins as well. Mmm. Yeah. This Oreo milkshake bangs, by the way. Oh, they're really good. Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. Oh, look at them. That's a. Uh, there's like two more portions of chips in here. Mm. Fries, I, I, I can't get enough. Mate, they give you they give you so much fries. I swear. Yeah. Mm. Look at how, yeah, look at that. This is gonna be messy, isn't it? <laughs> it is a bit Not messy, that isn't it? They're probably the best French fries I've ever had, ever. Yeah. Well, both Cajun season on it. I can make them at home. But they are. Yeah, they look are. Look at the absolutely. sogginess on this burger, though. That's proper spicy, that. Love it. Ooh. They're quite big, aren't they? Two patties, it is. Two patties on board, I'll, I'll be well into this, mate. Right, so. I know you didn't like lettuce, so I didn't get lettuce on yours. Loads of pickles, thank you. All right, I don't like lettuce. Mine's on loaded. Burger. There's loads of cheese. You ready? Mine's loaded. Oh, look at that. I'm liking the look of this. Don't think I'm getting my mouth around that. Mmm. Mmm. Cheers. Yep. That is. That's full of flavour though, isn't it? I've mm. been to Five Guys before, but I've only ever been and had a milkshake. So it's the first time I'm actually trying the food. And it's delivery, so it's probably better in shop. I went with Declan and I had a hot dog. Mm. So I've not had a burger before. Well, for me, last time I had it, like I say, it was very disappointing. But that is definitely something I would order over and over and over again. Because mm. that's cool. Yeah. You've got it upside down and everything. Mm. <laughs> You have to have your sesame seeds on the top. I know, but I like to be different. Yeah. As you know. You are different, aren't you? No, it's very good, actually. Not that. The fries, the Cajun spices on these are really good. Mm. That's the smallest portion they have as well. Not loads in the bag. That's what I mean. Not only that with the fries, it's the right, te it's the right texture for a French fry. It's not too crispy. It's not soggy. It's just the right texture. And the mm. spice level on that is delicious. But yeah. a burger... I can't uh, suck anything through that straw though. Right, we need to have a look at the grilled cheese now. Feels pretty light. Not gonna lie, it's mm. not very impressive. Wow, that looks dead. That looks like a grilled cheese. So it's literally just a burger bun with cheese in it. No, they're not burger buns. That's not burger bun. That. That looks like bread. Yeah, it's just like no, bread with the cheese. Oh, it is a burger bun. Burger bun. Look at the. Mm. Oh, they're upside down burger buns. That's inside it. out. That's what they've done, they're inside out burger buns. Yeah. Let me try it. But the cheese is just, looks very underwhelming. Mm. You need like a tomato soup with it. No. That's the sort of thing you'd buy a kid. Yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. If you have a kid with you, like a little toddler. Yeah. You can't get a full burger in. Mm. They do have little burgers in that. They do. They do for kids. But I'm very impressed with this. That burger tastes great. Mm, it does. That's better than McDonald's, that burger. Try your Where would you put... Yeah, here's a question for you. Where would you put if five you guys? Where would you put five guys on the uh, on the on the scale of fast food um, restaurants when you've got Burger King and you've got um, McDonald's, KFC? Mm. Do you like it? Mm. Where very would you sickly. put five guys? <clears throat> I don't know. It ranks probably a bit quite expensive right so that brings it down a bit I so think. how much was that each burger was 12 quid oh really? wow Blimey neck. 
Twelve pound for each burger. Mm. Wow. That is expensive. But it's, it's for me, it's better than McDonald's. It's a lot better than McDonald's. Even the grilled cheese was like six quid. Wow. That's 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 a rip that, off yeah, of six that's, quid. That's not worth it. That's and then the fries. I think I think the burgers are probably. Four. Yeah, the fries yeah. fries are good value. Yeah. They're delicious, aren't they? Yeah. The burger's delicious. Mm. The burger's real good. With the burger, I think when you look at these and you, you, you put it on the scale of where they rank, I think it's probably mm. a little bit higher up than um, the McDonald's. Yeah, no, I think it is. I even think on, even on the on the even on the it's not it's not restaurant level. I wouldn't go in there and sort like have a. It's a bit. It's a bit. It's, it's, a fast food. Food. it's still fast food, isn't it? Yeah, but I think it's on par with like Hard Rock Cafe and places like that. You do? Yeah. I think it's lower down than Hard Rock. Mm, I would say so. Just because it's not as fresh. Mm. Mm, I guess so. You can always tell when it's more fast food than a restaurant. It's definitely fast food. So you don't get five guys everywhere like. But it's like more like premium side of fast food. Mm. That's the right. That's the right comment. That's probably what it is, isn't it? A premium fast food. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather have Shakedown? Or five guys. This is like pretty similar, to, aren't they? The burgers for me are pretty similar. That's why I must, when I when I bit into that, it's very similar to shakedowns. Mm. And for me, shakedowns my favourite because what I have here, I have the popcorn chicken, and I drench it in the frank sauce. I love a popcorn chicken. Yeah, man. and I have a burger from there, like a double smash burger, and that's what it tastes like. It's very similar. Si- very, very similar. similar yeah. Very similar taste to it. Yeah. Where would you? Where would you? If you're going out and there's a row of shops, a row of stores, it's McDonald's, Burger King, Five Guys, Shakedown. Um, got like your nose and everywhere there, mate. <laughs> Enjoying that. Yeah, it's really and, nice. Uh, and a hard rock, say. Where would you? Where would you? I'd probably just go to hard rock. You know, me. I like a hard rock. Just I like experience hard rock. more than the mm. food sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I think on, on if I'm on the fly and I'm rushing somewhere, I'd always just go to Burger McDonald's. King. Burger King. Man, McDonald's is because it's always safe. McDonald's. Yeah, it is. Burger so King. Burger King. I prefer Burger King. I prefer Burger King to McDonald's, but I think this and Shakedown would probably be my option to go into. Because this is this is full of flavour, it's tasty that. Yeah. It's very good. It's a tasty burger. Yeah. It's a quality. It's a nine out of ten burger that for a fast you could food. Have put, so I was do you know what I was debating putting it on it putting on his burger. Bacon. No. Relish. Oh yeah. I don't relish, I don't have everything on mine. Yeah. But I thought you said you didn't like relish. No, I like relish. There's nothing you can put on a burger. The only thing I don't really like. Do you know what you can get as a milkshake? What? Oreo. Bacon. Bacon milk. Oh. You get a bacon milkshake. I wouldn't have that. Do you remember when we tried the bacon soda? I didn't try it. I didn't oh, try it. It's just disgusting. Was so good. Yeah, it was bad. Bacon milkshake you can get. Yeah. But I'd, you, there's nothing. You, the only thing I don't like on a burger is bacon. Really? Mm. I was gonna get us all bacon burgers no, instead I'm not of keen on bacon. Like bacon. I'm not keen on bacon on a burger. Mm. What? Yeah, that surprised me. me. It's just not for me. That's the best topping you can have on a burger, personally. Yeah, I, mean, I, I was like gonna it. get a bacon cheeseburger. I just prefer it without. I prefer it without. But I like, don't get me wrong. I love bacon. That's weird. Like How bacon can you like bacon burger? but not on a burger? Yeah. Just takes away the, the taste from the burger itself. Yeah. So people have been saying as well about chicken burgers by calling them chicken sandwich and chicken burgers. Yeah. So I went on the uh, Oxford Dictionary and the Cambridge Dictionary at a Houston burger place called I think it's called something like Burger Slot or something like that, a bun slot. Right. Based out of Houston, and the definition of it got if you want to go on their websites and check the definition of a burger is ground pate, pate ground ground meat. On a, two, on a on a burger bun or a roll, um, but the meat doesn't have to necessarily be beef. It could say beef or chicken or turkey or pork or vegetarian. Yeah. Mm. So wow, well, that's on I'll, that's on the I'll Oxford where Ox- that's, well, that's, that's on the Oxford Ding- dictionary. Well, we're talking English. That's the language we speak. Yeah. Oxford, Cambridge, and a burger place in Houston called something like Bun Slot. I think it was called Bun Slot. Yeah. Something like that. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> something like that. And they define it as well when it says. Could it be other meats, which is chicken, mentions chicken, well, I, pork. I, I said that I'd, I'd had a turkey burger and it was called, it was TGI Fridays and it was called a veggie burger and a turkey burger mm, yeah. and it was just ground meat, yeah. like so a burger. Have the debate how much you want, I don't care what you call it. We call them burgers, we call them chicken burgers over here or a turkey burger or a lamb burger, whatever it is, if it's a pate and it's on a bun. That's what it is. I want, I'd have no if pro- it was a breast a sandwich, of chicken, a sandwich, a sandwich is like, a sandwich if, is if like it was on like bread. Like normal bread, not like burger bread. Then it's a chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah. If it's on a roll, like a like a hoagie or a hero. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's on like bread that you'd only really find with burgers, then it's probably going to be called a burger. Mm. Well, it's. I think it's any meat that's ground that's a burger made mm. into a burger shape. It's an argument people are yeah. for and for and against. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, I'll just call it both. If it's a chicken breast. I'll just call it a chicken sandwich from now on. If it's a chicken breast on a burger bun, I would call it a chicken sandwich because it's not a burger. I don't care. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'll just call, I'll call it a chicken sandwich. There's loads of things that we sandwich. say over here that people don't say elsewhere around the world. And there's yeah. loads of things that people say around the world that we say in England, in English, funny enough, mm. which can cause uh, debate, yeah. let's say. Mm. So uh, we're all right. Oh, you do like Listen. to stir up things, don't you, Darren? Me? Me? <laughs> Never. Mm. Mm. So what are, you calling, what, what are you giving this out of 10? Uh, 8.5. Yeah, I'm going to go a solid nine, actually. I'm nine it's, to me as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. The, the grilled cheese is very disappointing. Gr- grilled cheese the grilled is cheese poor. Is that's poor. Very grim. That's, that's a grim. Yeah, that is, that's dead. Yeah. Ah, that's not even There wasn't even there a cheese in there. That's, that's not even right. Like just one blob of cheese. That looks like, you know, um, you know, cheese slices. Just two of them stuck on a, a yeah, bun. Yeah, that's what it is. Stuck, on the, stuck really on the grill and pressed down. Yeah. Dead now. Yeah. No. Not great. No. But the burger, for a fast food burger. Like, the actual meat of the burger is a very, very good. It's class. It's right, a class. And also the it's onions, they've got like massive chunks of onions. I don't yeah. know if you can see them. But that beats, I that beats all, mm. for me, that beats all your regular fast food. McDonald's, Burger King, things like that, places mm. like that. Um, it doesn't, I don't need to shake down. And even the, like, the pickles. Maybe, that, maybe that's why the prices. Maybe I'm, that's why the prices are so high. Yeah. Proper pickle. I think it's on par with shake down. Mm. Oh, oh. Get a bit, uh, buns are getting a bit soggy now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do get soggy quick. Mm. But yeah. Mm. Fast food done to perfection now. Yeah, very good. Fill him. Um, plentiful, packed. Yep. Enjoy that. Yes. Yeah, well, let's very nice. some. Let me finish what I'm eating first. Because <laughs> I want to get everyone else's thoughts. Let us know your thoughts on what we should try next. We are coming to America um, next week on the yeah, Wednesday. On Wednesday. So we will be trying loads of food over there as well to get the authentic American taste. Um, yeah. Comparing certain things. Probably not necessarily five guys, but because we're going to Nashville. Yeah. Places like we want to do the Nashville hot, the chicken and spicy chicken and all that kind of stuff. So chicken sandwiches or if chicken burgers. you can burgers. handle it, mate. Oh, I can handle it. Have some gumbo. I can handle the spice, yeah. The spice. <laughs> so it's some kind of spice you're talking. Uh, <laughs> a bit both, really. Um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts on that, what we should try over here as well. We don't always have the necessary fast food restaurants that you have in the, in different parts of the world. But if you've got a fast food restaurant, you know there's one in England or you know there's one in Manchester, let us know and we'll try it. We're thinking yeah. Taco Bell next. I haven't had a Taco Bell. Not since I left the USA. I'm not a big fan of Mexican food. That's the only problem. Mm. So it could be the best. Ta- Taco Bell could be the best Mexican food. But if I don't like Mexican food. It's definitely not well. the best Mexican food. But yeah. I love Mexican food. Yeah. But I think but you it's might fast try food. it. Oh, no. It's fast food Mexican. And we I can compare like it. it. There's actually a Mexican van that parks at the top of the street here. So we can compare it to the Mexican van at the top of the street as well. Yeah. So let's see the how they compare. Mexican van at the top of the street. Yeah. Let's see how they compare. Food van. Yeah. Street food. <coughs> Mexican street food. Yeah. But there you have it. Five guys get a good rating from us. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Polish the stuff after the video. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Follow our journey in the USA and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.